Hey everybody, welcome back. You are again here with your favorite life coach, Mrs. Empowerment Coach, AKA the Educator Coach. You know I'm in the building. Hey you guys, you know I'm coming dropping you some nuggets and some tea on this good day about trust. You guys, if you are not, if this is your first time on the platform, welcome, welcome. Empowerment Schooling is here for you. We focus on bringing awareness to the masses for one purpose, everybody's brains. You guys, we're here to bring awareness to emotions, thoughts, feelings, and moods, and how that once you master them, you're able to begin to attract what it is that you actually desire to your life. You guys, if this is your first time to this particular platform, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you are aware when we are present with new knowledge for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. So I'm going to jump into the topic. We are speaking on trust. And for today, we are going to address four specific areas of trust that have to do with the values of trust. And in order to understand trust and apply it to your life, you do need to understand these four key values of trust. So I'm going to jump right into those. The four key values, these are going to be values that when you are trying to either regain trust within yourself or even for someone else, it's very important that you set, you keep these values in mind so that the process of actually mastering trust and increasing your trust will actually happen for you. So I do want you to know that I have so much knowledge on this particular topic that I'm going to have to break it down in several different um, videos for you so that you're able to get the full benefit of what trust is from an emotional standpoint as well from a feeling standpoint. Those two videos will be linked below so that after this one, you're able to go back if need be and get the full understanding of what trust is and how you can actually apply these four particular key values to your life. And don't forget, subscribe to this channel. If you are not already subscribed to the website, do so at www.empowermentschooling.com. So this is what one of the four key values of trust is. The one of the four key values is values. If you don't know what a value is, guys, if that's something really important that you may want to take some time to look into, but a value is pretty much a common set of values, a willingness to respect one, but they don't overlap. It's, a, it's an essential for you building trust in relationships. Um, if you're not familiar with relationships, there is a video that we do break down the levels of relationships well, the types of relationships and how you are to apply them to your life when you understand what a relationship is, you're able to set those boundaries for that specific relationship and apply values that you set for your personal advancement with trust. But you should also have values for yourself that keeps you grounded and in line with your personal growth. Um, shared values often contribute to a mutual recognition of priorities. So when you when you set these values, ensure that they're able to be shared with someone else so that they can apply them to their lives, whether that be your spouse, your partner, your business partner, your children. These are values that should be able to be represented. And also don't forget to respect others' values. Even though you may not understand them and they may not apply in your actual life right now, they're that person's values. And in order for someone to respect your values and your boundaries, you have to be able to do the same for other people. So once you're learning um, these essential tools about individuals, you'll be able to grow a stronger bond and the virtues between the two of you, even if it's for yourself, you'll be able to find that value and you'll be able to trust within yourself. Now, next, you're going to need to identify your integrity. That's the second step. If you're not sure what integrity is, integrity represents a form of honesty and consistency. So you're going to need to set yourself some integrity guidelines for yourself. Um, when two people form a deep connection, there should be a level of predictability within that relationship. If one enters the relationship with someone with a very compassionate demeanor, one should be able to trust that the other person will continue to behave with integrity, um, acting with compassion throughout the relationship. So ensure that when you are creating your 
integrity guidelines that they're able to be duplicated as well that you're keeping it honest and you're being compassionate with others in order for you to be received as a trustworthy person and for your your values to be perceived as trustworthy um mutuality that's going to be the sec the third um key value that you're going to need to understand and you're going to want to choose to be in a mutual standing with people because mutuality refers to the idea of working as a team within a relationship and if you can't find that common place to actually sit and be able to be comfortable working and maneuvering excuse me i dropped my timer working and maneuvering within these boundaries, then the level of trust won't be able to be perceived from the other person, nor will you be able to perceive that from um, the other person in whom you're trying to instill trust within. So it's absolutely critical to sustain trust within close social connections. That is extremely essential for your personal growth. Um, you must be sure that the other person is on the same side and is going in the same direction. So when you're creating mutuality, it should be something that the two of you are able to display and understand and both of you are able to work together and have the same understanding. That's how you create a form of unity. Nobody said it has to be, you have to debate about everything, but if you can come to a common ground, one understanding, one agreement, one plan, and, every, and you and that person or your team is consistent with the same thing, the mutuality and ability to work together from a trusting standpoint is a lot easier to comprehend and it's a lot easier for things to work and the accomplished goal is easier to be achieved when everybody has a mutual understanding from a trust standpoint. And lastly, commitment. You guys, commitment is very, very important. And when you're establishing trust or reestablishing trust, you're gonna know you're gonna need to know who it is that you're committed to and who's committed to you. Any close relationship is incomplete without some degree of loyalty. So when it comes to commitment, commitment is your choice to be loyal to the situation, to the partnership, to the agreement, to the plan, whatever that is, you have to be committed. Both people must be able to trust that the efforts that they're devoting to this particular relationship um, is being it are not being made in vain. They Everyone needs to be on the same platform of understanding from the level of trust that this is going to happen and I'm committed because you're gonna be loyal to your end of the bargain. Um, commitment does not need to be a burden though. When you're in a trusting relationship, you can actually provide stability and predictability which builds trust. So if it's a burden, let's figure out how to have this conversation with our person or our people so that we can continue to be effective and we can continue to grow and reach our desired goals. That's the whole process. Well, not the entire process, but it's a lot of the process when it comes to um, increasing your trust within yourself, within a project, within people, even within an organization. You guys, it's very important that we stay focused and it's for you. This is for you. You have to create these values for yourself. So I'm going to need you to, I'm going to run them down one more time. I'm going to need you to write down your values. If you don't understand what a value is, please take some time to do you some research to find out what values are and to create those for yourself. You're secondly, you're going to need to define your integrity for yourself. And from there, I'm going to need you to figure out who are those that you are going to choose to be in mutual standings with. And then fourthly, know who you are committed to and who's committed to you. These are going to be ways for you to actually stay in the place of trust with yourself and it's also setting guidelines and boundaries for those within your immediate social circle and connections to abide by those same type of values when it comes to trust if we don't lay down the platform for others to understand who we are why we are and what we are then we will continue to be run over and our emotions will continue to take precedence over our actual reality and here at empowerment schooling that's what we want to stop. 
everybody, thank you for being present today. Please do yourself a favor and apply these particular aspects to your life. Keep in mind, it takes 21 days to create a habit but it takes 45 days for it to be measurable and to create a trend. So give yourself some time and be patient. Check out the next video on how to master trust, ways to increase it, ways to grow it, ways to develop it. Stay connected to empowerment so that you're able to choose hope, having only positive experiences. So until our next video, guys, I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Have a great, great, great evening on purpose.